Hey everybody, how's it going? Still here at Harmony Studios in Los Angeles. Still set up in drum mode. You can see I've got a massive overexposure on the kit over there. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some fundamental stuff about kick drums. And that's the kind of different sounds you can get with two different types of beaters and two different types of kick pad surfaces. First and foremost is one of my favorites, the Danmar kick pad, and it's made out of metal. And we've also got the, uh, the Remo Flam Slam pad, which is also highly recommended. We're also gonna be using two types of beaters, felt versus wood. We're gonna show you guys just the kind of differences you can get by swapping out the beaters and the surface. This is before you do any kind of compression EQ and whatnot. And just remember, what you're doing with the, with the source is going to greatly affect your sound once you start affecting EQ. So just bear in mind when you're micing up your kit that even small changes in the sound of your source is going to be magnified exponentially once you start adding EQ and compression, other things. So the idea is get a great sound to begin with. And the other thing to remember is that mics don't necessarily hear things the same way your ears do. So you have to bear that in mind when you're getting those sounds. So on the drums, we got Dave Velez. He's at the piano right now, but Dave's gonna be playing for us right now. Dave is one of the biggest fans of the show. Uh, he's been a big supporter of the show for a number of years here, and it's a real pleasure to have him come play drums on the show. And uh, we've got this beautiful Yamaha Maple Custom Kit that we've got mic'd up with the Earthworks mics and that Telefunken M80 you guys were looking at earlier. But we're gonna go take a look down at the beaters here and you can see we got the GH5 rigged up for that shot. And this is what we're talking about today. So there you go, there's the kick rig rigged up. We're gonna try them out, try four different sources, see what we get. And don't forget, I'm gonna make the tracks available for download. You can follow the links, get your hands on them. You can listen to yourself at your own pace. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so the big difference I'm noticing between all the different sounds we were getting on the kit here is that the wood beaters with the Danmar pad, there was a little bit of kickback. There was a little bit of a bounce yeah. on it. So you weren't getting a clean hit. You, know, you get a little bit of a, a secondary there, so. It's from burying the beater. Yeah. So if you bury the beater like I do, and you've got this hard thing, you've got something wood on there, it kind of goes, and kind of like, it's like taps it. So when you hit, you don't get a clean hit. It goes like, and yeah. it gets this super irritating sound that I absolutely cannot stand. <laughs> and okay. if I was a fucking super professional, I'd be able to play off it, but I am not. I am a mediocre drummer at best, and so I bury it, and so that's why I don't use the metal ones. That's why I use the flam slams. Honestly, I the thing though, I, I think out of all of them, I think I really did like the sound of the felt beaters the best. Uh, mind you, we are using uh, an Audix D6 down in here. You can barely see it, but uh, the Audix D6 is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the Audix D6, and I really like the sound of the felt. Um, I usually go with plastic beaters, but in this case, I really like the sound of the felt beater with the flam slam. What's your, what did you prefer, Dave, and why? I usually prefer the wood on the uh, flam slam because I like the weight of it. So, like as you're getting as you're getting used to it, you're really like using that momentum. And as you get up to speed, you can still you know as you're as you're getting faster, right? The the amount that the beater can come back is less. So you can't move the beater back as far, but you can still get a lot of volume because of the weight. So as you get used to it, okay. as you're playing fast, you're still getting da, 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 da. I don't think that's quite the attack I like, um, just personally from an engineering standpoint, but I mean like, yeah, from a playing standpoint, I can definitely understand that as well. I think either one's gonna be okay, but honestly, in this case, like I said, I think the wood on the, on the Danmeyer pad was uh, probably the worst out of the bunch, even though it had the best attack. So it's definitely a case of, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze? <laughs> 
Anyway, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, follow the link in the description below. You can get your hands on the raw tracks and you can listen for yourself. And I definitely recommend listening to the mics dry and then add some EQ and compression. You can see just how much of a difference it will make in getting it to the sound that you're looking for. Anyway, enjoy. Thanks again for watching. And as always, don't let making records get you down for the night is short and full of errors. Thank <laughs> you.